Okay, hello, welcome back. So, screen wash, we did talk a little bit about it. It is actually an anti-freeze. I dilute this by half, 50% mix. Okay, it's only got minus five protection. Takes it down to like minus two. So that's pretty good for an English winter when it's at that dilution, yeah, 50%. Okay, so we talked about the screen wash. Next one to here is some more fluid, which is the antifreeze coolant solution for the engine. Yeah, so this is very basic, and some people do not understand that there are two levels on this expansion tank, which is maximum and minimum. So minimum, you don't want to let it go below minimum, and you don't want it to go any higher than the higher. Never the twain should meet. In the middle is fine. You check this when it's cold, because what happens is fluid expands into the expansion tank when hot. The cap here is a pressurized, it is a valve in itself. So it will, after a certain pressure, let the pressure out to even it. Unlike this cap here, which needs to be vented. Now I showed you this in a video has a few holes in here to make sure that the uh, pressure is equalized in the container when you're drawing fluid out of it. Now this one here is in French, it's F and O, which is Fermé and uh, Ouvert, I think we worked that out as. You should always pay attention to uh, hieroglyphics on things, but F and O, yeah, with an exclamation mark and a triangle and a book would indicate that you go and read the fucking manual yeah so uh, yeah well uh, apart from that and uh, what we'll do the engine is cold the system is cold so i can take the cap off and there is a valve yes these do fail uh, not as much as they used to uh, the plastic pipes on these damn things nowadays can snap off but what we're going to do here i just want to uh, show you the difference about getting your balls to float okay Ethylene glycol is one type of antifreeze, okay, and propylene glycol is a different type of antifreeze solution, and these testers are different. Okay, so what you need to remember is that you use the tester relevant to the antifreeze mix you have. Third one here is the one I prefer, actually. It has a, uh, a temperature or thermometer, okay, for working out uh, what how warm the solution is and then it's like measuring the specific gravity where you have the uh, degrees actually it's in fahrenheit on this one and the uh, floating uh, float you measure the temperature and then see how far up the float goes and then you check it against the graph okay you can see here it's like a wine test of a specific gravity fluid at different temperatures acts differently so you get a more accurate reading unlike these okay where it's just a happy cheap medium okay it is effective however you don't get to know what the percentage of antifreeze is you just get to see what sort of protection there is in the engine so you draw some up and your balls should float yeah so there are five balls floating so it will be uh, something like minus 37 degrees at centigrade protection if the last ball was floating means there's too much antifreeze in there and it's not safe actually um there's plenty of reasons why but at the end of the day you should always have a 50 percent mix okay especially if you've got aluminium heads uh, on a steel block. Yep, yeah, stop cellification. So this one here is the best. This is a cheap one. However, you see the thermometer here and you see a, uh, a graph. Okay, so engine at the moment is cold. I'll just ram that in there. It's actually plas uh, not plastic. This is uh, glass, which is a little bit more fragile. Okay, so I've drawn this up and where the uh, specific gravity will be on this okay and the temperature <laughs> this is in fahrenheit so the guys in america will be used to this i'm not used to fahrenheit because i'm british so that's something like 80 degrees fahrenheit and then what i'll do is follow round the uh, graph to j okay so 80 is the uh, the third one up there and then i'll follow that round on the graph plots to j which comes out about here okay and this will give me the actual protection 
which is minus 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I had to do a little bit of a calculation here. So if we take a look here, we're looking at minus 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which in Celsius gives you a reading of a minus 32.7 degrees Celsius. Yeah, excuse me, because I'm not that literate with the Fahrenheit. So here you can see the graph J27 or minus 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I roll it around a bit there and you can see 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is plus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature of the coolant at that present time that I measured it, yeah? So this one, um, which I drew some fluid up, the floating balls, not the most accurate, but you can see five balls floating is minus 34 degrees Fahrenheit, which is giving me a region of minus 37 degrees of protection. Yeah, so there is an inaccuracy here. I would go with the one with the thermometer, which gives specific gravity as well. So, yeah. What you don't get with this is reading percentages. You should have about 50% antifreeze mix in your vehicle for European vehicles, okay? And of course, if we've had leaks or during the summer we've topped it up with fluid, then we won't know the percentage. But this, I would say, is the more accurate, but they're about the same. The readings are about the same, okay? This one is a little bit more complex um, because you have to... Uh, work it out on the graph but this is what professionals actually use okay i'll use a, a more expensive one of these there is a way of working out percentages but if of course you've got a, uh, a weak fluid then uh or worn because this red stuff is only five years then you really need to change it so i like this one better although uh at 53 pounds for one that you can get from durite okay isn't the uh, most uh, economical way of doing it but these uh, these ones here you can get for uh, a lot less on uh, the internet yeah so uh, my preferred choice is this one however the choice is yours what you need to do you can just get a rough guide uh, for the winter and you do need to check your antifreeze now you should have it in all year round however the weather is now going to get colder so you are going to need protection friend of mine years ago had a Ford Transit. He only used water as coolant. Surprise, winter snap freeze, and the ice blew his core plugs out of his cylinder block. So be warned. So anyone who uh, has a little bit of an autistic streak might actually notice that these are discs and not balls, but I prefer to say balls because balls sounds better. Sorry about that. These are actually floating discs, okay? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next video.